Hey guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at the Sennheiser Momentum 2 headphones. Now these are the Bluetooth on-ear headphones. They cost around £220 and I'm going to be covering the design, the build quality, the uh, buttons and ports that come with it, the sound quality and I'm going to be looking at how to pair it with your phone or your laptop as well. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's open up the pouch and see what's inside. So you can see the headphones, they're pretty compact. They fold right in. It comes with the wired headphones as well as the USB charger. And you also have a, an extra little pouch that you can carry it in. So let's have a look at the uh, headphones. Now they have a all leather headband with a stainless steel uh, band here to connect the actual on-ear headpieces. It's got a very nice gold stitching as well along the headband there uh, but I reckon it would probably look a little bit nicer if it had dark stitching uh, in black as well so the black on black is a, a really good contrast now the uh, actual ear pieces it has a very soft leather ear pads and if you're going to be wearing the headphones for a long time two hours uh, maybe on long journeys uh, you'd expect the ear pads to be really comfortable and I think they do an actually uh, a really good job. Sometimes you don't even feel that they're on, that's how soft it is, and it does fit nice and cozy uh, onto your ears. You have to pull up from the sides uh, with the circle outside of the uh, ear pad there, and push it along the stainless steel band, uh, and then it will get tighter and tighter. So if I push it down, make it taller, like that. So that's one good aspect. Now, the ear pads, the thickness of this is a little bit thicker than the predecessor which allows you to actually wear this for hours. So before it used to be a little bit thinner than this, the previous uh, Momentum headphones. So this makes it a little bit easier for you to wear for an uh, extended period of time. It does a really good job. Okay guys, if you wanted to pair the headphones with your phone or your laptop, all you need to do is hold down the power button here for about 7 seconds and it, the light should start blinking alternating red and blue. Now you do hear audio confirmations, it says pairing. The light is now flashing red and blue as you can just see there. Now it is searching for the headphones and we can try and connect to it. Now I'm just going to try and pair this. Go to pair new device and it will start searching for the headphones. As you can see, Momentum M2 has come up, so you just select that. And now it's connected, and it tells you the battery percentage as well. So I can now listen to my music using the headphones. I can connect it to my laptop. You can see how quickly it connected. It had no problems picking it up, and it was very easy to do so. To turn off the headphones, you just hold down the power button for about four seconds. There we go and it's turned off and it gives you a red flash as confirmation and the audio confirmation as power off. Now just on the ports, we have the on off button which is also the pairing button as I just showed you. You have the volume button here which is a slider. If you slide upwards, it will put the volume up, downwards for the volume down. It also allows you to skip to the next song by double pressing and if you wanted to view the previous song, you can triple press that as well. One thing to note about the triple press, if you're not listening to any music, if you triple press, you'll get confirmation in the audio about how much battery percentage is left, which I think is a really good feature, which is, which is something you can't find on a lot of headphones. And then finally, you have the charging port and then the headphone jack port there. If you wanted to use the wired headphones, you can do that from the pouch that comes with it. In terms of the sound quality, it comes with NoiseGuard hybrid noise cancelling sound. Now, I think from all the headphones I've tried in the past, it does a really good job in cancelling out outdoor noises, transport noises and so on. If I had to give it a rating out of 10, 10 being I can't hear anything outside of the headphones, I would probably give it a 9, which is very high. And I think Sennheiser have done a really good job being able to cancel out so much noise. Now, I take the uh, train in the mornings to work and the train is very noisy. Putting these on, I think it's done a, a, an excellent job. I can't hear anything outside. 
uh, of the train tracks and I can't hear the people in the train talking next to me and I can just concentrate on my music um, whilst I'm playing on my phone and it just allows you to blank out from the rest of the world and it's a really good job there. Now I haven't tried this on planes, I would presume it wouldn't block up to 9 out of 10 uh, on an airline, I think it would probably do maybe 7 out of 10. But again that's very good compared to other headphones out there. It also comes with Voice Max technology which dynamically cancels out external noise for intelligently allowing you to have conversations with other people when you take calls on this. Now one thing I've noticed is if you're walking outside, you've got your headphones on and you get a phone call and there's too much background noise and the other person can't hear you properly. With the Voice Max technology that comes with the Sennheiser headphones, it's crystal clear. I can't hear anything else around me. I can hear the person clearly and even though there is a lot of noise outside, the person on the other end of the call can actually hear me through the Voice Max technology a lot clearer than other headphones or the wired. Uh, headphones that have mics in or into them. In terms of the music, I think it's got a very deep rich bass to it. So if you listen to loud music, rock music and so on, you really hear the basses. Um, but even if you want to listen to just mellow music, calm, relaxing sounds, it does an excellent job. So I would give the sound quality in terms of the bass, the treble, all the different types of audio variations and frequencies that you get, a very high 8 out of 10 and it's, it's kind of like having a, a, a mini nightclub in your ears. You really feel the sound quality coming through. You can never get the sound quality like this in uh, in-ear headphones. And I've tried some other over-ear and on-ear headphones as well, and the quality on this is five bar better than all the others I've tried. Now in terms of the battery life, Sennheiser mentioned that it comes with 22 hours of battery life. If you want to get an example of how much that actually is, if you listen to this one hour a day, for just the weekdays, the battery life will last you a whole month. Now, it depends obviously on your usage, if you're gonna to listen to it while you're working, and you listen to that maybe four or five hours of your working day, then of course, your battery is gonna run out fairly quickly, maybe just over a week. But in terms of the quality that you get in response, I think the charging time, it takes about two to four hours, depending on how low your battery is, to charge fully and that will last you for weeks on end and it does a really good job in that. I have used on-ear headphones previously which have a longer battery life, but again, with the quality build, the sound quality that you get, if you're using Bluetooth compared to the wired version, then the battery life varies in, the, in different aspects like that. Overall, I would give this a seven out of 10, only because there are other headphones out there with a much better battery life. So for example, the Bose Quiet Comfort 25 headphones that has a battery life of over 35 hours. The Plantronics Backbeat Pro headphones has over 60 hours of battery life. So that's a big difference here. That's almost three times as much as this one. So there are ones with better battery life, but again, uh, that's one of the reasons why I give this a seven out of 10 on battery life, but the sound quality is, is far better than some of the others that I've listened to in, in the past. Now, coming on finally, the price, it's a little bit expensive, it is £220, you can find it on Amazon and on the Sennheiser website, I'll put a link in the description below. If you look at it from the US, this costs roughly around $300, um, but I'll put a link to that one in the description below as well. It's not the cheapest of headphones, but if you're going to be using this for minimum three years, for example, I would definitely uh, recommend buying it because it is worth the, the high price tag. But if you're gonna switch up the headphones maybe every year, I probably wouldn't go for it at this price. I think there are other headphones that come close to it which are half the price. I have another video where I've reviewed the Marshall 2 Major 2 Bluetooth headphones. You can click on the little gray box up here to view that video now. And I think that is half the price with almost the same quality in sound and you can probably go many years with that headphone as well and, and it just depends on, your, on what your preferences are. So guys, thanks for watching the uh, video. I hope you liked the review. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the Sennheiser headphones here, then uh, do drop me a comment below. I try to keep track and answer all of your questions. And do check out some of my other videos here. And I will see you guys at the next video. Take care.